Hey, it's your pal Uncle Eric here. Today we are in Klamath, California at the Trees of Mystery. Why am I wearing a mask? Because Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox told me to. So I have my mask on today. Aunt Terry and I are going to go for a walk up in there somewhere. The Redwoods. Uh, Trees of Mystery. This is a resort, highway resort. I love these places. We've got a cafe and a hotel across the street. And a lot of stuff up here at this time of year is closed. These people stay open year round with this thing. And they close down for half a day on Thanksgiving and they close down at Christmas. And that's it. Other than that, this place is open. So this is a cool parking lot. Um, in the high summer, they've got somebody standing up there who can see out and talk to the people through Paul Bunyan, which is kind of cool. Um, some old equipment, logging equipment, some other stuff here. Um, there's your Aunt Terry, and let's go get this thing started. Alright, here we are at the Tree of Mystery entrance. June 28th is National Paul Bunyan Day. I did not know that. Oh, uh, know. Tickets are 20 bucks, except for Aunt Terry, who's a senior. <laughs> Those are the rules for the Redwood Canopy Trail, which we're going to be doing today. And some stuff about this on the way up. Yeah. Looking forward to this. Ooh. Ooh, the elephant tree. Nature's underpass. Very nice. After you, Aunt Terry, you are mm -hmm. purchasing tickets today. It's my birthday, so she gets to purchase. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing great, thank you. I'd like two, one senior, that's me. Okay. And I want a regular. So that's me. 36, please. Is there any military pastor present? Negative. Okay, so I have 36. 36. Redwood dugout. They would burn those, set fires in them. And then dig out the burn sections. And then uh, burn them again and dig them out and burn them again until they got the shape they wanted. I learned that on the internet. Alright, here we go up the walking trail. There's a bear. There's so many people going to find us. Look at this. This is a commemorative garden for someone. My guess would probably be one of the owners. That's a very cool water feature. I like that a lot. Terry. No, I know, but the... so this way you can only put them on when people are around you. Yeah, I could see. I could see why somebody would want to rest here. Mm -hmm. Holy, gorgeous. I know we've got a small backyard, but I want to do something with water. You're going to need that in a okay. few seconds. Like those, um, a water feature, kind of like that, uh, that old oriental one I made with, um, bamboo. Oh, yeah, like a duck. The water thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People need a new one there. St. Francis. And a, and a flashlight? Huh? Flashlight. Yeah. Or a pipe. Be disrespectful. No, or somebody quit crack because of St. Francis. Huh? What if somebody quit crack because of St. Francis? Oh, maybe. That's cool. Good on you, St. Francis. Yep. Oh, patron, that. patron, right. state of animals. Oh. Oh. This is so cool. <clears throat> so cool. So cool. 
Yep. 180 foot thick of spruce. Wow. That is a big ass tree. There's Bigfoot. They make a lot of guitars. What's up, buddy? You living up there now? Doing your nine to five? <laughs> my feet are bigger, my feet are bigger. Your feet are wider. Bigfoot, Bigfoot, Happy Bigfoot. Birthday. Happy birthday, Bigfoot. Elephant tree. Oh. I am not a tree. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, uh, yeah. Whew. My gosh. Man, I wonder how deep those roots go. Deep. Tall trees, deep roots. I love the fact that we're in kind of a Hangy moss covered forest yeah. 10 days before Halloween. <laughs> this is they should, they should have called this the elephant tree. Yeah, this is the upside down tree. Hmm. So, oh, its roots are up in the air. That's what it looks oh. like. It looks like the roots are up in the air. Oh, yeah. And then it looks like the tree itself is actually, look, a tree that has two trunks. Wow. Huh. Oh, the, it's great. It's an offshoot that's seeking sunlight. It's amazing. And it's made, it was able to grow that large. Wow. And that again is one big, big tree right next to this monster that we're going to see probably here in a minute. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so this is a, a fallen giant tree. See how it goes all the way down? Yep. That sprouted 3,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. This 10 foot diameter tree grew over the fallen tree and it had to be cut down for safety. Wow. But look at that. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it huh? almost looks like it's still growing down there. Wow. Be curious to know when the, when the giant tree fell over. I just pull it down. A lot easier to deal with. Be cool if there was a zip line all the way back down, huh? Uh, yeah. Crazy. Nature's underpass. Yeah, I'm not walking under there. I don't think I could. I'd probably crawl under there, but I'm not doing it. Pretty sharp. Look at this moss here. Octopus tree. The octopus tree. Wonder what the tallest tree is here. You've seen this in the region. So my not. question is. Uh. Is the octopus tree the same as that tree? Yeah. 
You can probably cut that wood up and use it today. Amazing. Gracie. Gracie, we're sorry, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> 320 feet. Oh, look at this. How freaking cool is that? So this is the roots mm -hmm. from it. Then they've gone back into the ground here. They've done some cutting on it to make sure it doesn't grow anymore. I don't know if you can get a good enough perspective of that. But it's about 9 feet tall and probably about 15 feet wide. Pretty freaking cool. Another thick of spruce tree, 180 foot. Thick of spruce is what a lot of guitar makers use for the fronts of guitars. Which way shall we go? Mm -hmm. Let's see what this one says. California Coastal Redbird. Beautiful tree. Neat, that's a shade, that's a damn shade. Yeah. Ooh. Stop yeah. anytime you want. Mm. Look at that. I got water out of there pretty quick. Look at that up there. That's uh -huh. the thing up in the redwoods. Hmm. That's where we're going. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this one is supposed to be about 300 feet tall. I don't know how they would ever know unless they climbed it and measured it. Yeah. All these bad boys are seriously tall. <clears throat> Bye. 
tree here that Terry. Terry, hmm. read that. Oh yeah, here's the sign that says Sky Trail Gondola. So you go that way to get to the parking lot and that way to get to the gondolas. Let's go to the gondolas. Shall we? <coughs> shall you? Shall we? And all those other internet taglines that are so popular today. Eric the Wee. Eric the Wee. The Wee. He can be Woo, I can be Wee. Oh. <laughs> Together we're Woo Wee. Woo Wee. No, it sounds like somebody chainsaw. Mm -hmm. I would imagine there's always something going on here that may change things. Probably. After winter when people are not that stuff in the snow um, You mean like now? Yeah, I imagine this place gets quite freaked out with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Are they going the wrong direction? No, they're probably coming back. Okay. Forest Trail Experience exit only.
Yeah, there's somebody playing with a chainsaw. There's an interpretive center, but my guess is it's closed. But let's go check it out anyway. Oh, need the restroom? I think that I shall never see a poem, lovely as a tree. A bat cave is in a hole in the tree. And the seeds are dispersed. And they drift down on the forest floor. Each hoping for a specific set of sublimous circumstances in order to become a mature redwood tree. And the odds are stacked against them. It's thought that perhaps one seed out of a million dispersed will actually grow into maturity. Thankfully, the coast redwood has adapted another way of ensuring the continuation of the species. It's a great cool of As the redwood grows, so grows a mass of form and stem tissue near the base of the trunk. It's not like the structure is very widely sized. The smallest, perhaps only the size of a baseball, the largest is only several thousand pounds. They have a better coloration. Different surface texture and form and variegated grain pattern. This is a burrow. But what is truly magical about a redwood burrow is that each one is chock full of nascent redwood sprouts. Ordinarily, these sprouts remain dormant, but if something untoward should happen to the tree, fire, wind damage, or the wounds present in the burrow stem should trigger the emergence of the sprouts. Hmm. And each one of these sprouts could become a tree. Exactly, but it's very ancient. Back at least to the time of Christ. And uh, it was sort of seen a lot. And they always say, that is one way to say it. I wish these things were taught. John, what can you tell us about Archangel? Archangel is a foundation that is trying to preserve the ancient and greatest trees in the world. Take cuttings from them, replant them around the world, combat global warming and climate change um, because these trees make. Uh, more oxygen than any other plant on the, in the planet. They're the largest living thing on the planet, so that makes sense, doesn't it? So, several years ago they came to me and I said, okay, sure. It's a pretty special place here. Looks like people have planted trees here. As, yeah, as a way to celebrate their wedding. Oh, how neat. Hmm. The Brotherhood of Man tree. Oh, wow. <coughs> 19, wow. 19 feet in diameter. Dedicated to the Brotherhood of Man. All races, creeds, and colors. This one here? I wish we could get rid of the last statement and just say everyone and call it good. Means so much less complex that way. No, mm. oh. so they live in loose soil, <coughs> which is probably why the sequoias are so protected from people getting close to them. Huge tree. Pieces of burl on it. <clears throat> Gorgeous stuff.
Hmm. All right, Brotherhood of Man. Get on it. Gondola. And I'm feeling fine Better watch your stick Cause I'm gonna do a trick I'm going nuclear on this shit Atomic Skate Park Atomic Skate Park around the globe. Hey, poser, you got no crime. You think you're really in your mind. I really don't just the way you do. I pulled a nose slide and then I kicked him. Better watch your stick. Cause I'm gonna do a trick. I'm gonna be clear on this shit. Atomic Skate Park. Atomic Skate Park. <clears throat> Here we go.
think we're on the the walk out at this point. And the tree continues to grow on the outside. Yep. Yeah, probably pretty glad I didn't go down that trail. Wearing non-broken in boots. Might have hurt a little bit. It's a maiden fern, I think they said. Oh nice. Terry Terry's learning which kind of ferns are which. Because there's two different kinds here. Oh, more than that. Maiden fur. Well, no, you can fur. see two different kinds right yeah. there. That might be, I don't know what that is. They're some kind of fur, fur, fur. Be careful in case you've got a whole hand rub. Yep. See, this has all been logged. Yeah. And then more trees grew out of it. Chop mm -hmm. one down, five come back at his place. Yeah, I'm lucky to have this kind of thing in our world. <clears throat> Can't let those idiots burn it down, neither. the root structures on these trees <coughs> when they pull up all of the surrounding dirt it just becomes packed in as tight as it can be Candelopra tree. See the candles? Yeah. Well, nature will find a way every stinking time. And of course, the gift shop's in the exit. So what'd you think of that, Terry? I think it was bitching, man. Yeah, it's pretty freaking cool, right? Yep. Well, thank you for taking me here. It's pretty awesome. Thanks for taking me nice, here. Nice birthday present. Thanks for having a birthday. Yeah. To celebrate. I'm not going to have any more from now on, yeah. believe me. Um, let's go and see if we can stand in the center of this bad boy. Nope, can't do that. But we sure can't do this. It's amazing. Yep. Yeah, it's up there. 
Well, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna sign off now and go to the gift shop, get me a new t-shirt.